Well, now this will be episode two. In the first episode, we mentioned that we're going to get Rodok um, Crossbowman. And uh, I'm going to look for um, Rodok Infantry. But the best heavy cavalry is supposed to be Swati and Knights. The best heavy infantry, Nord Huskarls. I don't know why they put Vega Guards here, what shock infantry is supposed to be. And the best archery unit is the Vega Marksman. But the crossbowmen, the Rodok sharpshooters, are mentioned uh, down here in this article. In fact, the second best cavalry, according to this guy, is the Saranid Mamluk. Um, and third is Vega Knight. Heavy Infantry says second place is the Rodok Sergeant, since they have better shields than Huskarls. Um, I did notice looking, uh, so that is from the Steam community. I'll probably link that in the description. Uh, the Rodok uh, are in usual faction, according to this. The Rodoks have no cavalry, only infantry and crossbowmen. Rodok infantry specialize in using spear and are better with it than anyone else who uses it. This is initially a trade-off as they are better used against cavalry than unmounted troops, but they become more adaptable with upgrades, and the Rodok sergeant is second only to the Nords as the best infantry overall. Rodok infantry are extremely tough with high hit points from their iron flesh skill and large shields for strong defense. They are excellent at standing against enemy attacks. And that's what we're going to want. We're going to want the infantry in front of the crossbowmen. So um, we need somebody tough up there in the front. And also the mountainblade.fandom.com also talks about stuff. And they put the Nord Huskars first and the Rodok Sergeant second. Hired Blade third, Swadian Sergeant fourth, Vager Guard fifth, Saranid Guard sixth. For Cavalry, they put Swadian Knights first, Saranid Mamluk second, Mercenary Cavalry third, Sword Sister fourth. And it says they're, the Sword Sisters are equipped with the heaviest attainable armors in the game. Slaver chiefs, upgraded from Manhunter unit, um, have medium armor and armored war horses while swinging heavy mauls. And it says that make them effective shock troops and are very capable of capturing enemies' armies alive. Kurgit lancers, um, then Vager knights, brigands, and caravan masters are the worst cavalry troops in the game. Vagar Marksmen are considered the best bow infantry unit in the game. Saranid Master Archers are a new addition to Warband. Um, Nord Veteran Archers are comparable to Vagar Marksmen. Rodox Sharpshooters are generally considered the best siege archers in the game because their thick board shields will protect them if told to hold their fire. Although, uh, note that this does not happen for siege defenders... They also possess decent armor and melee capacity, making them useful even when engaged in melee when they have been flanked or when they have run out of bolts. Their melee weapon is often a hammer, giving them a chance to capture enemies alive for later ransom. Then Swati and sharpshooters are slower, less heavily armored, and mercenary crossbowmen are the mercenaries' only ranged unit, and like the Nords, they are lower tier versions of the Rodok or Swadian sharpshooters and lack the features of their higher tier kin. Um, and that's all we'll read from that. So let's go to our game and get the um, get the get our units. So we need to go to towns. Bavran is near Jelkala, so we'll go there. And let's recruit volunteers. One Rodok tribesman, 10 dinar. 
Now, if we look at our inventory, we've got 813 from selling the furs. Let's save this as, I like having two of them. Progress two. Oh yeah, let's see if they sell any food here. Uh, too expensive. When we get troops, they're get, I'm going to look for 20. My goal is going to be 10 um, infantry and 10 crossbowmen. And we're going to stick with a low amount of units. In fact, if we look at party, we have one Rodok tribesman and we have up to 41. But our we're going to get 20 and then we'll get companions and put them on horseback and then we'll pick up some other types of cavalry and eventually Swadian and Vagers and others. Three looters. All right. You think we can defeat those with our four units? The village of Ibdelas seems to be flourishing. Indifferent to me. Ibdelas is near Ibdelas Castle. All right, let's fight these looters. Now, my character is at 201 experience. One handed weapons, 44. Two handed, 34. Pole arms, 32. Archery, 85. Crossbow, 16. And throwing, 24. I need 600 for the next level. My experience is 201. My health is 48. Oh, and I'm going to set up one more save. And I'll call this battle. So we'll use this before we fight maybe a lot. All right, let's try fighting these looters. Surrender or die. I've encountered looters, my five troops against their three. Charge the enemy, and I'll hit F1, F1 to get them to stand. Backspace tells me where they are. If I hit F1 and click where the flag is, the troops will come to that position. All right, you see them coming? F1, F3, charge. Whoops. Tab key. Casualties, none. Th three looters, two killed, one wounded. Continue. And I capture a prisoner. And one of the advantages of doing this is we get an upgrade. I would like, since... When we draft them, they come as regular fighters. I'll upgrade one to crossbowmen. And we get a plus seven body armor, rawhide coat, bag of stones, and a plus four cap. I have 10 body armor on mine, so the seven doesn't add anything. The willing cap is four, so we put that up. And that increases my head armor to four. Return. 
and I get 33 dinars, 30 experience, and 43 shared in the party. So let's see. I'm at 806 dinars, and they the four troops are costing me eight dinars a week. The tribesmen cost me one dinar a week, so there's three of them. And the crossbowmen cost me five dinars a week. And if I look at my character, I now have 269 experience, 44 for one-handed, 34 for two-handed weapons, 32 pole arms, 85 for archery, 16 crossbows, 24 for throwing. All right, let's see. Oh, did we look for food in Abdellas? Buy supplies. Okay, 26 for the grain. 26 is not too bad for grain. Um, let's see. Let me stay near Jelkala. Manhunters, I believe, are friendly. Somebody's fighting. I don't know. Thought I heard somebody fighting. Let's recruit some volunteers. One. Supplies, cabbages, 28. Cabbages are usually pretty cheap, so that's kind of expensive. Um, let's go to Fedner. What I want to do is, uh, I was thinking of getting 20 troops to start with, but I might just get about 10. See, recruit one, buy supplies. Fish 82 is too much. Dry meat 76, not too bad. Cabbages 33. Wool 94, generally it's good under 100. Wool cloth 352, that's a lot for wool cloth, I think. Um, let's try Dumar. Whoa, 10 looters. I'm at seven. I don't think so. Let me go to Chesa. Yeah, I'm not 12. Uh, All right, let's head back. Seven's enough to do the quest anyway. Uh-oh. They're going to catch us, I think. Save as... Um, well, my last save was the battle, so let me save it under progress. Uh, let's try and run. And then to the city. Okay. Yeah, I'm outnumbered. I'm trying not to be outnumbered by the looters. Six is not too bad. And let me go to Jalkala. And we'll visit the tavern. Oh, wait. Um, first, the marketplace armor. Let's sell the rawhide for one. 
And the arms, the bag of stones, we'll sell that for one. And then we'll go to the tavern. Whoops. A ransom broker, we can sell the prisoner. It's better than killing them. Um, what can I get paid for a prisoner? That's all I need to know. Bring your purse. I've got prisoners to sell. Looter 32. And you see we didn't have to kill him. So that is a service. There's the merchant of Jalcala. This is a traveler. Let's talk to the merchant. Quest succeeded, collect five men. Splendid work. You have hired enough men to take on the bandits. Now, travelers entering Jalcala have told us that there is a small group of robbers lurking on the outside of town. I suspect they are all from the same band, the one that took my brother. Hunt them down and defeat them, and make them disclose the location of their lair. Very well, I shall hunt for the bandits. Tab, and let's leave. The blue band of robbers is um, what we need. I think they're being blue tells us they're the quest item. If I hit Q, you see, learn where the hostages are held. Find and defeat a group of bandits lurking near Jalcala and learn where your employer's brother has been taken. That was given on March 24th at 1257 by the merchant of Jalcala. Okay. I've been looking for you. Tell me where you keep your prisoners and I'll let you go. Ha. Those prisoners are only going free if you pay their ransom. Did you bring any silver? No, but I brought steel. I have I have seven troops against their four, their four. Charge the enemy. F1, F1 makes them stand where they are. One, F2, F1 puts the in infantry in front of the archer. Zero selects them all. Backspace shows me where the enemy is. Where are they? I assume my troops are facing them. F1, F3 charge. Three killed, one wounded. The robber. I spare me, spare me, spare my life. Let me go, and I'll go far away from here and learn an honest trade, and you'll never hear of me again. Tanmura says, I'll spare your life, but in exchange, I want information. Either you or your mates kidnap the brother of a prominent merchant in town. Tell me where you're hiding, him, and give me your word that you'll stop troubling the people of these parts, and you can go free. Oh, bless you, sir. Bless you. We've done the lad no harm. We've been keeping him in our hideout near Chalez. 
I'll describe the area nearby in detail, so there's no mistaking it. All right, chip butchering knife, um, bag of stones, plus four armor woolen cap, which I already have. Uh, weapon reach 60, my chipped axe has a weapon reach 108. So I like that far reach. So I'm going to stick with the axe for now. 29 dinars, 35 experience, 56 within the party. So now I'm at 418 experience. My two-handed weapons is at 37. My archery is at 85. Hmm. Let's see, do we go back to the tavern and tell? The merchant. So you found out where they hid my brother. Splendid work. I flatter myself that I'm a fine judge of character. And you look to be a man who can get things done. Now go out and save his unworthy hide. Very well. I go now to attack the bandits in their lair and find your brother. Tab. Then uh, I'll click leave. Escape. Save as. And I'll save it on progress too. All right. So Chalez was off to the east here. Did we already recruit people from Chalez? And if you run by the, the war parties, uh, the troops, they'll chase off looters and things like that. With just seven men, I'm not confident of beating people. Oh, did anybody? Uh, they gained a level. So let's upgrade another two crossbowmen. And Chalez, see if we can, did we recruit anybody? Let's see, recruit. Five tribesmen, recruit them. Buy supplies. All right. Uh, you know what? One, two, three, four, no. All right. Save battle. Let's go to the hideout. Costing me nineteen a week, so from seven eighty nine I went down to seven seventy. You approach the hideout. The looters don't appear to have spotted you yet, and you could still sneak away unnoticed. The difficult approach to the site, down a narrow defile means that only a handful of troops in your party will be able to join the attack, and they will be unable to bring their horses. If your initial attack fails, the looters will easily be able to make their escape and disperse. Do you wish to attack the hideout or wait for another occasion? Attack the hideout. Let's see. All right, so it's a mountain range, so they're different. I'm just going to follow the troops. This guy's going up. Suppose there's some up here. Oh, they're fighting. Uh oh. I definitely want to get.
Thank you, thank you, this is the merchant's brother. Thank you, thank you, sir, for rescuing me from those fiends. Did my brother and Chalcala put you on their track? Tanmora. Yes, I told him that I would find you. I advise you to return to your family as quickly as you can and be careful on the road. With their retreat cut off, the looters fall one by one to my determined attack. Their hideout and their ill-gotten gains are now mine. Boots 15, mines 10. So I will take the 15. Falchion, weapon reach 73. Uh, let's see, control click will bring it over. 24 to body armor, 10. So that more than doubles my body armor. So we'll put it at 24. They get worse, I think, as you go along here. Tattered uh, plus... Ah, the woolen cap is plus six. So I'll take my plus four woolen cap and replace it with a plus six. I would eventually want to move to a one-handed weapon, but I want to do it when I have a shield. Otherwise, I might as well use the more powerful, uh, longer reach axe. Notice... The axe does 31 with a swing, but the rusty falchion does 27 damage with a swing. So I do more damage with this axe. So I might as well continue to use it. And this is definitely progress. And let's return to Jalkala to report our success. I'm in 98%. Oh wait, let's look at the party. Rodok Tribesman, I'll upgrade one to a crossbowman. I'd like to have about an equal amount of uh, infantry and archery units. I have a habit of saving often. And I will use those. Oh, wait. Um, options. Um, damage to player reduced to a quarter. Let's normal. Damage to friends. Normal. If there's anything else I should change in here to put it at normal level, let me know. Difficulty 39%. And we'll save that. Um... Did we look at the character 570 experience? All right, heading back to Jalkala, past Ibdella's castle. We're at 12 troops, 12 total, uh, me and then 11 more. Um, let's first go to the marketplace and sell the armor, like the hats. He has 122 dinar. So far, we're getting 34 dinar, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39. So 41 dinar from the loot. And then for the arms, they have 487. 
That opens inventory slots for other stuff. We get 34 denarii there. Uh, any food that we want to buy here for our troops? They've eaten five of the 50 uh, dried meat. Silk is 930 here. Velvet, 809. Dyes, 240. Wine, 217. Oil, 468. Wool cloth, 265. Leatherwork, 217. It's good to get to know the prices. Hides, 153. These, these are a little expensive. Butter, 169. Pork is 93, chickens 115, sausages 96, cheese 86, fish 45, fish generally good under 30, bread 53. Grain 34, fruit 50, and furs 406. All right, let's go to the tavern. Belligerent drunk. Um, excuse me, please accept my apologies. I'll wipe that smirk right off your face, says the belligerent drunk. Uh-oh. Where is he at? Whoa. Tavern Keeper, well, I'd say that he started it. That entitles you to a sword and purse, I suppose. Have a drink on the house, as I dare say you've saved a patron or two, a broken skull. Still, I hope he still has a pulse. It's not good for an establishment to get a name as a place where men are killed. Such a waste. Boy, I'm almost dead here. Uh, let's save this. Um, progress two. And let's go to the merchant. Where is the merchant? There he is. F. He gave me 200 denarii. Quest completed, attack the bandit lair. And my relation with the merchant has increased from zero to one. I believe my relation with the tavern creep keeper increased from zero to one. Merchant of Jalcala. Well, my brother is home safe. I'm not sure what to do with him. Maybe pack him off to a university outside Calradia. All right, I'm going to have to stop this soon. Um, my brother is home safe. I'm not sure what to do with him. Maybe pack him off to a university outside Calradia. That way, if he gets knocked on the head in a street brawl, no one can say it's my fault. But that's not your problem. Here's the rest of your reward. It was well earned. Press the left mouse button. Tanmura says the money is most welcome, and I am glad to have been of service. Click again. Merchant of Jalcala, good. Now, are you interested in making some more? Left click. Possibly, what do you need? Left click. Remember how I told you that the bandits had an ally inside the walls? I think I know who it is. The captain of the watch, no less. Some months ago, this captain, seeing the amount of profit we merchants were making from trade across the frontiers, decided to borrow some money to sponsor a caravan. Unfortunately, like many who are new to commerce, he failed to realize that great profit only comes with great risk. So he sank all his money into the most expensive commodities. And of course, his caravan was captured and looted, and he lost everything. As a consequence, it seems our captain turned to villain villainy to recoup his fortune. I suppose I'd do the same if, the heavens forbid, I ever faced indebtedness and ruination. Now, any watch captain worth his salary will have a few thieves and robbers on his payroll to inform on the rest. But our captain decides to employ these wholesale. He brings them into the town, lets them do as they will, and takes a share of their take. You've heard of poachers turning gamekeepers. Well, in the unfortunate land of Calradia, sometimes game keep gamekeepers will turn poacher. Luckily, there's, there are still a few brave. 
still a few brave, honest souls in the watch who've told me how he works. Now here's my plan. I could bring this to the attention of King Gravit, Lord of the City, but that would mean an inquiry, my word against the captains, and witnesses can be brought and evidence destroyed. Or maybe the whole thing will be forgotten if the enemy comes across the border again. And all I get from my trouble is a knife in the ribs. In time of war, you see, a king's eye wanders far from his domain, and his subjects suffer. So I've got another idea. I've got a small group of townsfolk together, some men in my employ, and some others who've lost relatives to these bandits, and will storm the captain's home and bring him in chains before King Gravit, hopefully with a few captured bandits to explain how things stack up. All I need now is someone to lead my little army into battle, and I can't think of anyone better than you. So what do you say? Uh, how do I know that you're telling me the truth? Oh, well, I suppose it's possible that I've found a dozen bandits who are willing to give their lives to give a passing stranger a false impression of life in old Jalcala. Well, I guess you can't really know if my word is good, but I reckon you've learned by now that my money is good, and there's another 100 dinars, or maybe a bit more, that's waiting for you if you'll do me this little last favor. So what, uh, what do you say? I say, I'm sorry, this is too much, too fast. I need time to think. The merchant says, right, I can keep my men standing by. If you let this go too long, then I suppose I shall have to finish this affair without you. But I would be most pleased if you could be part of it as well. For now, take what time you need. All right, so I'm going to leave. And I will save here and uh, um, continue in the next episode. We'll call this Start here as you know i'm a little ocd with saves and i'll save it there just as a backup and quit without saving exit and thank you